Live from Collider Studios in the heart of Burbank, California, this is Inside Schmodown. I am the pit boss, Ken Napsok, for what will be an interesting episode because we've got quite quite a personality coming in at uh, a little bit here. It is Grace Hancock of the Lions Den. She is the so-called queen of the jungle, but you cannot deny that the Lions Den's power continues to grow a big title offense coming up they're gonna have a presence in the ultimate schmodown tournaments uh, we're going to dive into that if you have some questions go ahead and post them with the movie trivia schmodown facebook group page or right here on facebook live and we will try to get to your questions i do want to talk about some stuff up top give my take on some things here robert meyer burnett and jay washington now robert meyer burnett is a new member of the Lions Den, and we'll ask Grace about his future, and that's in question because he was defeated by Jay Washington. Now, I do not want to take anything away from Jay Washington, a prior guest. He's got skills, not just cutting promos. He's got skills competing. We've seen that. He's got a victory. You're not going to take that victory away from him, but you have to question Robert Meyer Burnett's performance a bit. This is a former champion of the inner geekdom division and he quite frankly laid an egg in the first round you can see the video on collider uh, uh collider videos youtube page you can just see it watch it go back analyze it like, like i did this morning robert meyer burnett was shaken something was off and jay washington hung in there and then took it in the end again i do not want to take anything away from jay because you can't he is going into a a, a fatal three-way match soon against Rachel Cushing, my partner in the Nerds Watch. And uh, right now, the the looks like a, a match with Jason Inman, Coy Jandrew. Things change fast. Coy, of course, won the big fatal five-way. You're going to have a three-way competition there to see who will go on and face the champion Hector. As of right now, now the commissioner, Christian Harloff, can throw uh, new wrinkles in as he does. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. But as of right now, I call it new faces in familiar places. We have Jay Washington and Rachel Cushing moving up. Robert Byer Burnett goes out. And again, we're going to, I have to question his place in the Lions' den. There was so much made of this transition that Robert Meyer Burnett was, was uh, fired, so to speak, or maybe he left. It's depending on who you ask. And uh, he left the Four Horsemen. Roca and Nose move on. Bibiani leaves the Four Horsemen first. Meyer Burnett's like, eh, I'm out of here. And it was a bold move to join the Lions then. I can see why the Lions then would want to recruit a man of his skills and talent and that jacket. I mean, if that jacket is now on your stable, you're getting into cooler parties. I understand it. But then to see Robert Meyer Burnett just fail, you have to wonder, wonder about his future. But he's got teams coming up. He and uh, Mark and Draco have formed a team. Uh, I don't know the name yet. That's going to be revealed. But I am intrigued by that team. And we'll be talking more about that with Grace Hancock in a bit. But let's give all the credit to Jay Washington. Uh, he has made an impact with his with his words. He has taken over, taken that stick, as they say in pro wrestling. And he has just been lobbing firebombs. A lot of competitors, Tom Dagnino, in his ice, uh, in his uh, crosshairs, and this came out of him challenging Tom. Tom, uh, you know, sneaky that he is, accepted the challenge in a roundabout way and inserts Meyer Burnett into the match, and then we see what happens. So what do you guys think? I think that's what I want to know this week. You guys can, of course, reach out and ask the questions. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing some questions come in, and I already got a great one that we're going to have to ask from Eli Van uh, Agelin. Um what do you think about Jay Washington's chances against Rachel Cushing and either Inman, Koi Jandrew, and eventually against Hector Navarro? Is Jay Washington's words just as powerful as his mind? We'll figure that out. Uh, also, we got the Ultimate Schmodown Team Tournament rolling. First, we, of course, have the, the championship we're going to talk about a little bit more. But the Ultimate Schmodown Team Tournament is off and running 16 teams. We were talking about it last week, talking about it. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about it again. We're going to have an Ultimate Schmodown preview special coming out next week, currently scheduled for the 15th. Uh, the Commish and other characters, I'm sure myself, will be there to kind of really uh, get in there and preview these tournaments. The team special, uh, the team tournament starts soon. And I'll talk about uh, first two uh, matches uh, that we have. Um, 
that we uh, – well, I'm getting breaking news I'm getting breaking news. Can I announce this news right now from the commission? Okay. I was talking up top about Jay and Rachel fight, uh, fighting Inman or Koi John Drew, the winner of that match. That's been changed. Jason Inman will take on Emma Fife. Koi John Drew is already in the match based off his win in the four, Fatal Five way, and this match will now be a Fatal Four way for the number one inner geekdom contender spot to take on Hector Navarro. That is breaking news right now. Cody doesn't even, we don't even know what to do with this, Cody. That's, see, there you go. That's, that's why we're live here on Facebook. We got breaking news. All right, so, but let's go in the tournament, Matt. The tournament starts, the team tournament starts. We talked about this Cinema Blend versus Team Trek, Team Action versus Deep Cuts, kind of the first round. Again, uh, those are the first ones coming up, and we, we know about, uh, I think, Team Action are rising stars, even though it kind of hurts me to say that because they've got an attitude behind them there, but I like their chances, don't count out Deep, cu deep Cuts. Those two winners face off, which is kind of why we're highlighting them right now. So what do you guys think? Go into the Schmodown Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. Uh, you can get more information. If you want to make some educated picks, I suggest you listen to the boys over at Schmodown Rundown on the SK Podcast Network. They have uh, the chance to go into this a lot deeper than I do right here today. And you can maybe get some uh, educated choices to make. When you're making a, filling out your, your brackets, I'm sure you're filling out brackets there. All right. Uh, but I mentioned up top, we, uh, we have a great guest, and it ties into the big championship match that will drop tomorrow. This is the champions. They're undefeated. Jeff the In Snyder Snyder and JTE Little Evil, they're still the champions. And they have. They are 6-0. They are they have had this title since December. They have been, and they have more than any other champions, have been putting it on the line. All right? Three defenses, three title defenses. They're not afraid. They're, they're in. They're here. They're taking on the team uh, we call now Team Modoc which is still Gray Drake and Matt Atchity. We uh, formerly knew him as Rotten Tomatoes. That has changed. They have a big match tomorrow. And um, I, 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 I don't know who to pick because there's skills in both, but it's hard to discount the Patriots. And one person who has never discounted the Patriots for reasons I don't fully understand is my guest today. She is the queen of the jungle, Grace Hancock. A nice Cersei-inspired shirt here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just coming in blazing. You yeah, know? how are you? Thanks for joining. Oh, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm surprised you talk to people like me. Me too. Oh, well, that just says it all right there. I mean, we've had some interactions backstage. I, 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 I worry about your heart. I worry about how you get wrapped up in these guys. But the lion's den. I've known Tom a long time. Tom's been on this show. I don't ever want Tom back on this show. <laughs> uh, but he, he suggested we sit down with you, Harloff, and I thought that was a good idea. All right. First of all, let's talk about the Patriots. Why are they so good? Because we're the best. Th because you of the best. You can't beat us. So we you are... proclaim yourself the best. You're the best. Yeah, you know, I mean, Christian's been wanting me to get involved with the Schmodown for a long time. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to get involved, I want to be involved with the winners and the best. Because, as you know, I'm very competitive. And I don't want to hang out with losers. So we're the best. We're the best group of guys. We have all of the different skill sets mm -hmm. together. We are absolutely unstoppable. Now, you say Harloff wanted you to get involved. I know he recruits talent. And he probably saw that you were a talented uh, person in many different areas of life. I know you're good with a sword. <laughs> I've heard you paint. Uh, you got a lot of... you read books. All right, I've seen. I, I could follow you on Instagram and get all the information. I, I get why Harloff recruited you, but then you show up and you choose to run around with these guys? Have you met Tom before? I, what, you, you wanted me to hang out with you and Rachel or like the Night Sisters? Like, give me a break. Who's I going to hang why out would, with? You, wouldn't, you don't want to have good, nice quality times playing some board games or something? Some D&D <laughs> or something? <laughs> hey, I'm all for board games, but like I said, I want to hang out with champs. You want to hang out with Champs? I want to hang out with Champs. So you think, I, I don't even need to ask your prediction of the match tomorrow, but you, you think they're going to come out on top, the Patriots. Yes, we are going to slay whatever weird Russian nonsense they have going on. We're not intimidated. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to slaughtering them like we do everybody. I, I would not discount, though, Gray Drake and Matt Atchity. I got, a, I got questions from the audience here. Oh. Uh, I want to get in one. This is a great question from Eli Van Aglin, or Aglin. What does Tom Dagnino smell like? <laughs> he smells like a, a, a fresh cologne model. 
I don't believe, I've been around the guy. He smells like a, a Jimmy Buffett concert in 1982. He smells like a Christopher Cross album. He's, it, it, this is not, those are references that are probably old, but I get it. Um, all he right. smells great. He smells fresh to death. Yeah. Um, who is your favorite member? This is from Brian Newsbaum. What's your, who's your favorite member of the Lions then? Can you choose? Jeff Snyder. Why is that? I'm surprised by that answer. Really? I'm surprised by that answer. Who did you think I would say? Uh, you know, Mar I know Mark Andreco. Mark Andreco, I think, I, uh, he's, he's an android, but he is a nice gentleman. I, it was between the two of them. But Snyder, why? I don't know. He's just, he, I get a kick out of him. I think he's hilarious. He is one of the mm. cockiest guys I've ever met, and it cracks me up, and I love it. <laughs> I'm all for it. You like, you like, you like cocky men. <laughs> I do. Humble, humble <laughs> servants like myself probably don't work. Uh, important question. Yeah. You show up. All right. You want to associate yourself with champions. I get it. I, I begrudgingly have respect for JT and Snyder. I, I see what they do all the time. Yeah, you have what to. What is your problem with Emma Fife? Okay, better question. What is Emma Fife's problem with me? First Why of all, am I not allowed to root for champions? Why am I not allowed to be proud of my team? Why am I not allowed for, to be cocky when of, we never are beaten all, by don't, anybody? Don't tell me how to do my job. Better question. Better question. Cody, Coming do you get from that? breaking news guy over here. If you had been on the Facebook group, you would have known that a week ago like the rest of us. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Loser behavior, I guess, is what I'm exhibiting LB. Here. All right. Classic LB, LB from but, Ken So that, that, that is, uh, you know, the, what, mean, that's the problem with Emma? It, it's that she's just, she's so biased. She's such a Girl Scout. She is so Team Captain America. And we needed somebody to be the other voice. We needed me. You needed balance. So, you, so this is like balance to the force stuff where it looked quite clearly you're Sith and the galaxy <laughs> I'm needs I'm perfectly Sith. all right with that metaphor. What, but what do you, you can't, uh, you can't sit by idly and think it's okay that Tom locked her in a closet. I don't know anything about that. I have nothing to do with that and I have nothing to comment about that. D I, I, I mean, we have video of it. Was I in the video? All right. Okay. All right. Noah McClay wants to know, is there a legitimate, legitimate rivalry between you and Emma? And there, is there any chance we'll see a match between you two? Brian Davids also calls you Fredo. Actually, he's calling me Fredo. <laughs> um, uh, and, and we got other questions here. Uh, uh, we've got uh, we got people asking, uh, like Grayson Rodriguez, will you ever compete in the ring uh, in the Schmodown, maybe against Emma Fife? So, so could you guys settle this here on a Schmodown? You know, I do see a future at some point where Emma and I do at one point compete in one way or another. I don't know what that would be. I never say never, but uh, we'll see. I think that uh, I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed. I can't see. What, what, what would your strengths be? My strengths? If I did it, the Schmodown. Yeah, I know you're a fan of movies. You're, you're a working actress. I get that. I get right. that side of you. But what, what, what you think, you, it's not just going to be a bunch of Fincher questions. What do, I mean. Because Emma's strengths <laughs> yeah, are in geek them. You're constantly making fun of geeks like me. <laughs> hey, I mean, I actually, I would probably do, I, would, I think I would really thrive in the inner geekdom. Uh, Fincher for sure, Lord of the Rings for sure. But again, you know. Lord I, of the Rings, you are a Lord of the Rings fan. Right. And then you're making fun of people like Cody and I who like, who like nerds. When stuff. have I ever made fun of Cody? I adore Cody. I oh, make fun of you all the time. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, you know, Christian Harloff is the commissioner. Do you think he's uh -huh. been doing a good job? No. Why? I think if the game was being played and judged fairly, he'd be doing a better job. Do you think someone else should take over? I do. And who is that person? I don't know. I'll keep, I'll what, keep my I'll thoughts to I'll myself. Throw, I'll throw this name I have you. ideas. Do you think Tom Dagnino, with his boat shoes, can come on here <laughs> and run, the run this league? I think that Rat could run this league better than Your Christian dog. Harloff. Wow. You're saying a chihuahua, one of the smallest breeds of dogs, could... That's what I'm saying. Hip-hop, skippity-scop over here. She That's could skippity-scop all over this And game. run this better than Christian Harloff, a grown adult male. Yes. That's quite an insult. That's deep. That's a deep thing. But you, 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 re come on. Tom is commissioner. Th that, talk hey, about I bias. I didn't say it. I just said people could do better than Christian. You got an ego. Jeff Snyder has an ego. <laughs> JTE's ego fills up the bus he rides to work. <laughs> How do all these egos get along, especially now with the addition of Robert Meyer Burnett? Yeah.
It's loud. How do they get along? Well, first of all, what's wrong with having an ego? Second of all, what's wrong with recognizing your strengths and recognizing other people's strengths? What's wrong with that? I don't Why shouldn't think it's we wrong. have an ego? Hello? It, it, it's about confidence. Look at our stats. It's about confidence. I get it. Um, but, uh, you know, like, you, you know, even Andreco. Andreco's a gentleman, but he's an Eisner Award winner, winner now. He's walking around with this rarefied air about him. So, As he should. So I think at some point the prediction is all these egos, you know, you added Meyer Burnett in his jackets. Like, at some point it's got to collapse, don't you think? No, I think that we're all just recognizing greatness in one another. And it might start when you start picking favorites. Like, we got the singles, <laughs> we got the singles tournament coming. Up. Now we got the team tournament. The Patriots are going to defend. They're not in the tournament. And Draco and Burnett are in this league. We'll find out uh, what's going on with them. Uh, I think that's a formidable team, I must admit. But at some point, these guys aren't going to be on the same team. They have to get to, uh, together and fight in a tournament. Who do you predict who, to win? Uh, of, of your Lions Dens people? You know, I won't predict who I think would win. I do know that at the end of the day, we are a team. And if we have to play games in a certain way to put certain people ahead, I think, that we will do that. I think that's bull roar. I'm putting you on the spot. Bull roar. Bull roar, I say. <laughs> bull roar. All right. Uh, which... One Snyder, he's your favorite. Your little, your little boy toy Snyder there. <laughs> oh, little evil JT. JT wants to win. He's he hates losing. And uh, Burnett and Draco and Draco knocked out some of the Hall of Fame player caliber players at the, at the free for all. Yeah, I know. Those, We're great. I got and it. And Burnett, it, I know you got it. Pick one to win the tournament. Because I know you all think one of you will. Who? <laughs> I, I can't. I think that a Lions Den member will win. Wow. See, well, all right. I mean, I'm not going to fault you for that. I'm not going to fault you. That That's a well-played answer. You guys probably get together. What are your, like, do you have, like, do you have, like, uh, Lion's Den business meetings, like, over at some <laughs> some some bar in Van Nuys? Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, I would like to know. I'd like to see what you guys, I'm still, as I, I said uh, before to you, I'm unsure someone, I see you having somewhat of a pure heart at the base of it all, ending up with these guys, uh, I, it, it troubles me a lot. Why would that? Why can't? Why can't a pure heart hang around with champions? I don't know. They're, they're not this personally Look, offends some, you in every post some, interview. You were going on on these weird speeches about warriors and integrity and honor and truth. Why? Why are you so invested? Okay, but you're talking I'm about good. Hang, How about you worry about you and your team? You're hanging around with champions, but let me ask: Is Tom Dagnino a war criminal? <laughs> for what he did. I that. plead the fifth. I, you guys are, are scandalous. Um, so, well, you have some fans. Uh, you know, Mr. Oh, Undecillian says, what, at what point did Mrs. Grace Face decide to become the hilarious, badass advocate manager spokesperson for the Lions Den? And we got that answer. But, uh, you know, I, I, I guess you have fans. You must be doing something right here. Oh, honey, I got plenty of fans. Uh, I bet you do. I bet <laughs> you do. Um, all right. All right. I, I do appreciate you coming on. Um, Thank you. I, I hope that you and Emma can settle your differences in a polite, professional man, man, manner. Up I'm there. sure you do. Uh, I don't agree with your, a lot of your decisions or a lot of your, your answers about uh, Tom and the Lion's Den, um, but I, I, I respect you coming in. I respect oh, you coming in. Thanks, Uncle Ken. That's sweet. Oh, that's, you know, that's. Cody, don't you laugh. <laughs> I hear Cody over there laughing. I got about a I'm minute left. I'm funny left. and Cody knows. Uh, you, you know. You you befuddled me, but you befuddled me, and I you know you insult me time and time again. Do you at least no. have some respect for what I do? Uh, no, because bottom line, you are a loser. And on that note, Grace Hancock, thanks for. I think thanks for coming in today on You're the welcome. inside schmodown. Uh, you know, I could see Tom's influence running deep, but maybe it was you who was evil all along. Guys, the big <laughs> title match is tomorrow. Patriots, Modoc, can the 6-0 and Patriots successfully defend their team titles again? And then the tournament begins next week. Team Trek is up first against Cinema Blend and a big schmodown preview coming next week, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time on Inside Schmodown on The Loser, The Pit Boss.